Hello there, this is Granny Fisher and I'm in the kitchen today. And it's strawberry season. Today I'm going to be putting up some strawberries. And these are some locally grown strawberries from a local berry farm. Okay, the first thing you need to know about strawberries is you should start You need to start with good, fresh, locally grown berries. These are grown in Tennessee. It's right near where I live. And they won't hold up for shipping, so you won't find these in California or New York. These are strictly locally grown berries, but they are so sweet. They're like berries used to be, and the way strawberries should be. So, we're going to put some strawberries up today. Now the first thing you do is get some freezer bags. Don't get sandwich bags or general zip, Ziploc bags. You need to get zipper freezer bags. And this is 13 one-quart bags. Now each of these cups of strawberries is one quart. So this is where I discard the stems. Here's where I wash my berries and cut them. And I'm putting them in this bowl and then spooning them into a bag like this. Now the first thing you want to do is take out your freezer bag. And right here on the front, it says contents and date. So you take a Sharpie and, and you write the date on it. Today is, let's see, well I'm not actually putting the date, I'm putting the month which is the fifth month, 15th year. That's close enough for government work. But that's your baggie, and you have it ready, because it's hard to write on after you get the berries in it. Okay? Now the first thing I do is rinse my berries off, and uh, you don't want to do this in advance. You want to do it when you're getting ready to bag the berries and put them in the freezer, because if you do it too far in advance, they'll develop this fuzzy mildew on them and you'll have to throw them to the chickens. So, I'm pouring fresh water on them. I don't buy water, but I do get tap water and put it in the refrigerator and let the chlorine dissipate before we drink it. So, this is actually from my refrigerator. Okay. Then we just snip the top off the berry and then slice it in pieces. And snip the top off the berry and slice it in pieces. And snip the top off the berry and slice it in pieces. And before you know it, you have a whole bowl full of strawberries. Now we're going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them, stir them up, and put them in the freezer. Okay, uh, one quart cup of strawberries, when they're cut up, or even whole, you put them in the bag, they will fill a one quart freezer bag, which is what we've got right here. A little bit of sugar helps preserve them, and it also gives them a good sweet taste. You don't want to put a whole lot of sugar. I put about a heaped up tablespoonful in each bag. Mix it up real good and then put it in the baggie. Now those last little bits are a little hard to catch. They keep trying to run away from me. So I'm going to try pouring them in. You have to be very patient with natural things like good local food gardens, chickens, bees, and children. All the natural things take patience and time. Oh, there 
joint one for my husband. Okay. Enough for the example, anyway. And then I squeeze all the air out of it and zip lock it shut. And that's how it goes in the freezer, just like that. And I will say this. There's a verse in Scripture that says not to muzzle the threshing ox. And when you're working with fresh strawberries to put in the freezer, that saying takes on a whole new meaning.